In this video clip, I want to briefly explain and revise the concepts of PKA and PKB, uh, some quite important concepts when we talk about assets and bases. So let's assume we have an asset, we abbreviate that with HA, uh, plus water, and we assume that we already have established an equilibrium so we would get H3O plus plus A minus. Obviously HA is the acid and A minus uh, would be the conjugate base. Now we can write uh, the equilibrium equation for this and we can say Ka, that's the equilibrium constant, equals the concentration of H3O plus and I abbreviate uh, the uh, concentrations with these uh, square brackets. Concentration of the protons times the concentration of the base divided by the concentration of HA. And we usually don't include the concentration of the water here because very, uh, you, by definition, this is usually included in Ka. Now, very often we find that the uh, dissociation of an acid uh, is uh, not very strong. So we would find very often that uh, the equilibrium would be located on the left hand side. So that means that the concentration of the protons and the base are usually very small. So we would get uh, very often something rather small uh, for Ka, especially when we're dealing with uh, weak acids. And therefore, uh, people have established the convention of the pKa value. And the pKa value is defined as the negative log to the basis of 10, 10 of the Ka value. And of course, uh, the Ka value doesn't have uh, a unit. Uh, Ka does have a unit. In this case, it would be molar because uh, concentration um, cancels out with another concentration. So we've got one concentration left. Um, but the pKa value, since we are dealing with a logarithm, does not have uh, any unit. So that is the important definition for a pKa value. And in general, we can say that the higher the pKa value, so if I write pKa value is high, then the dissociation of our acid, so the dissociation of the acid is low. The higher the pKa, the weaker the acid, the lower the pKa, the stronger the acid. Now we can do a very similar thing for the pKb value and we can write A minus plus water and again we have an equilibrium gives us HA plus OH minus and we can formulate the equilibrium Con, uh, the equilibrium for this uh, reaction, A minus is the base and HA is the conjugate acid. So we can write for Kb, we can write exactly the same uh, that we have done before. We can write HA times OH minus divided by A minus by the concentration of the base. And again, the, the water we can include here. Now, uh, if the uh, base is very weak, then we would have the equilibrium really on the left-hand side. And again, we might get some very small for Kb. And again, therefore, people have established the pKb value. And you probably can guess uh, how this is defined. pKb is defined as the negative log to the basis of 10 of the 
k b value. And like the pKa, uh, there is uh, no unit for the pKb value. So these are the def definitions of pKa and pKb, and I hope this makes sense and you found this useful. Thank you very much for watching.